Hi, I'm Dimitri from Marca and in this episode we are going to talk about the Aerospike rocket engine test results. For the first test of the Aerospike we didn't want to push the installation too far and we started with the 4.1 bars in the tank. For the next test, we are going to gradually increase the pressure until we will reach a maximum of 28 bars. At this relatively low pressure of 4.1 bars, we obtained an ISP of 20 seconds, which is a little bit higher than what we expected and we estimate that at 28 bars we are going to reach an ISP of 60 seconds. We tested both the LAS25D Classic engine and the LAS25DA Aerospike engine on the same test stand using the same propellant, the same sensors to read the data and the same data acquisition system to record the data. Now let's see how these two compare. We can see a specific impulse increase of 15% in the case of the Aerospike compared with the Classic engine and we didn't exploit the Aerospike engine at its maximum potential as we are going to have a propellant based injection to further increase its performance. We've read some YouTube comments posted here saying that the launch assist system has a propulsion system that has a specific impulse of only 50 to 60 seconds and this is a major shortcoming. Also that we are hurting the industry claiming that the current rockets are polluting. A first stage or booster makes its job as long as it contributes to the altitude increase and acceleration of its payload. In this case the carried rocket and the launch assist system does exactly this, at an unbeatable price because it runs on water. We are going to produce a video in short time to explain with numbers how the launch assist system works and why the specific impulse doesn't matter too much in this case. Regarding the fact that the rockets are polluting, yes they are, the vast majority of them. And some of them, especially the SRBs, are even toxic, claiming that rockets are contributing to the overall pollution in a small percentage and we have no reasons to worry about, it's an irresponsible approach. If we can cut the polluting emissions and we have an alternative technology, why not addressing this? Upgrading 70 years old rocket technology isn't sustainable in our opinion. Innovation is sometimes difficult to digest, but progress needs to happen. ARCA just gave the start to a sustainable approach for spaceflight and will move forward. Whoever wants to follow is more than welcome. Who wants to stay glued to 70 years old technology is also more than welcome to do it. Some will win, some will lose, but I know the era of clean electric rockets is here and is here to stay. Hi, I am Larissa. I am on the Black Sea shore and I'm going to show you a little bit the surroundings. In that direction, in the north, it's an Air Force base. And in that direction, in the south, it's a naval base. Both of them are going to be involved in the launch of Aerospike LAS that is going to happen very soon. In April, Arca Nonprofit will launch the first launch assist system during Mission 9. For this mission, we aim to achieve the following objectives. And that's it for this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and support this video series on Patreon. See you next time on Flight of the Aerospace.